Hello, 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 everyone. <clears throat> Let's see who's going to join us tonight. I have a fun evening of some crafting with you featuring our cheerful daisies, which is brand new in our new catalog. Let's see. We are officially live. I'm just going to share it with the groups real quick. Let's see. We got the VIPs and the Creative Heart Stampers. All right. I think we're good to go. Make sure volume is down so we don't hear any crazy. Okay. I think we are officially live and ready to get started. So again, our new catalog has gone live as of May 2nd. So tonight we are featuring one of the brand new stamp sets. This is the Cheerful Daisies. It is a bundle. It's actually an entire suite of product <clears throat> that you'll find in our catalog over on page, whoop, upside down, 110. So if you flip to 110, um, you're going to see a two-page spread with the entire suite, which includes the bundle, the designer series paper, and some really cute embellishments. Okay, let's see. So we're going to do our typical housekeeping here that we normally do. Um, let's see. I just got to flip the camera here. There we go. Okay. So May tutorial bundle, any order placed in the month of May, $50 or more before shipping and tax. Hey, Deb. Hey, Kay. Glad to see you ladies come join. Um, you will get this tutorial free in your email um, for making a $50 purchase. You can also purchase this outright in my online tutorial store. I have not posted it yet, but it will be up by the end of the night. Um, and that is $25 or $20, excuse me, um, for just the tutorial. And it is 42 projects made by 42 different um, demonstrators. We all get together and do this collaboration. And uh, we have another demonstrator who puts it all together for us. And this month we end up with 42 really amazing projects, all using current um, new catalog product. So if that's something that interests you, you can get it free again with a $50 purchase or by just ordering it from my online store. The other thing is the new paper pumpkin. We are in the new subscription period, excuse me, for June. So between now and June 10th, you'll get in on the welcome in project kit. This one's going to make nine cards, three each of three designs. You're going to get a Knight of Navy ink spot, nine coordinating envelopes, of course, your stamp set. And this time around, um, again, they're offering a three die option add-on. Um, I did go ahead and order my dies already because the last time they had, had this option, they sold out before the kits even went live. So. I hurry up and got in and grabbed mine because um, I know they're going to sell out quickly again. So if you're interested in getting the coordinating dies for your paper pumpkin kit and you're a subscriber, order them now. They're $6. I will give you the item code. It is for the dies, 163192. I will repeat that one more time. 163 one nine two and when this is over i will post that item number for you so again if you're a subscriber you're going to want to go in and order them if you want those coordinating dies they're six dollars um really really cute um and they're going to coordinate with this set um that's really the big things it's a detailed base and banner die cuts are going to come in here um you're also going to get a um coordinating Knight of Navy embellishments. So, yeah, so I think it's going to be a really cute kit. And it looks like it might coordinate a little bit with our Countryside Inn suite. The other thing I wanted to remind you, if you are one of those folks who likes to have all the colors, but you need to do it in bits and pieces, I did um, put this in the VIP group under the file section. You can get this 
download and print the new color checklist. It's got the in colors as well as the new core colors that have been added to um, the, the collection. Um, so again, you can easily download this and print it, and then you can just check off as you purchase your items. All right. Of course, we still have the online exclusives that has grown since the catalog has gone live because a few things that were in the previous catalog are carrying over through the online exclusives. Um, I believe like the Queen Bee stamp set carried over via that. Um, I forget the name of the set, but it was the little bird with the little bird's nest that carried over. Um, a few dies and um, embossing folders and such also carried over into the online exclusives. Lots of kits. That birthday kit is still available. That's my favorite that I use actually every month. I look at that for my birthdays. Okay, we are going to go ahead and get started on some stamping. So I'm going to show you the three cards we're going to make tonight. Let's see, we have one. two, and three. So these are the three cards we're going to make tonight. I also have a couple of bonus cards I'm going to share with you after we're done. Um, love this set. I got to tell you, it's probably one of my most favorite sets of all time. I mean, I've been playing with this. I've got all kinds of samples that I've been using this for. So we're going to start with this one here. Let's set these two aside. And let's see. This is the one I need. So we're going to start with, I have a thick basic white card base. This is 11 by four and a quarter. We're scored at five and a half. I have my bone folder here. We're going to fold on that score line and we will burnish with our bone folder. Then I have a piece of the pebbled path that's four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then I have a piece of the designer series paper that is the mm, brush is a daisy designer series paper. And I've chopped all mine up, but there was two sheets that have all these different panels in it. And that actually came from one of the panels that I cut and I have all my other panels in here. So we had those two pieces came from it. I had both of mine cut down because I used them. There's that. Now the back side of this is all um, Moody Mauve. So here's that one. So that was the back of it, all of these are Moody Mauve, but then you have all these fun panels that make easy, quick cards. And then of course this was part of it. So all that came from a 12 by 12 piece and I just cut it all apart and then I just keep it in with my stamp set. So when I'm creating I have access to those little pieces quick and easy for, again, quick cards. And this was the other panel that's in there as part of that sheet. But like I said, I've used up mine a lot. So anyway, so we have, and this panel here measures three inches by four inches. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to attach those. Well, thank you for sharing, Kay. I do appreciate that very much. And these daisy dies are really cool. So we're going to go ahead and layer these pieces like so. And then we can, well, before we, yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to do that. We're going to go ahead and put this on the center of our card base. And 
That looks pretty good. Then we need our pebbled pack ink pad. And we need the sentiment that says, you made my day. So I'm going to get that out of here. You made my day. And for these little skinny sentiments, I like to lay them down. Because otherwise you can tend to distort them and bend them. So it's easy to just lay them down and pick it up that way. We'll go ahead and open it up. Hello, Miss Betty. Oh, not a problem. That's what replay is here for. Just glad you could stop by and say hello. Okay, we're just going to ink that up in Pebbled Path. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to stamp that right down. Make sure we're straight here. Like so. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So I have my chamois here. Go ahead and open that. Okay, so now I have a scrap of basic white. And we need. Mm -hmm. Our daisy here. Now, why is that happening? For some reason, my screen keeps going to sleep. It's never done that before when I'm live. Huh. Interesting. Of course, I didn't. Windows did an update, and I'm wondering if that's one of their lame brain updates. Okay. <clears throat> I need a scrap because we need to stamp off. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm still dealing with the tail end of that stupid cold from last week. I still have a cough and the occasional plugged up sinuses. Uh, anyway, I guess tis the season, not to mention it's allergy season. Okay, now I got Fairy Burst. And I have my first image, which is the largest of the daisies. I'm going to go ahead and ink that up. And I'm going to stamp off. And then we're going to stamp here on our scrap. And I didn't stamp very good. This is why you really, 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 really need to use a cushion when you're stamping photopolymer. Get that down. Not the best, but it'll be okay. It'll work. I still need that. Then we need the medium sized flower. Off. 
Then we want the partial flower. Stamp that off. Now we're gonna get our full size blooms here. And let's see if we can. Now we have our outline. And that's going to now I get the smaller. We have, I call this the droopy flower. It's really not droopy, it's just a partial flower, but it's a little droopy. So there's that. Now, with the photopolymer, Berry Burst is one of those colors that is definitely going to stain your stamps, but as you know, they're fine. They're going to work just fine. Yeah. That stupid screen went dark again. Let's try doing that. Okay. Well, then I can't see comments. That doesn't work. Hmm. I don't know what Windows did, but it's going to bug me. We have one more stamp. We have the little flower bundle here, I guess you'd call it. We're going to stamp this. All right, now I just need to grab the baby boss. Forgot to bring that over. And then we can start cutting all these little pretties out. Well, we need the centers first. Well, let me do that. We need centers. that and that and that we're going to use our new wild wheat so we have the wild wheat for Could have went up a little higher, but and then this little guy is gonna go in the center of that one, and then the center of that one. Okay. So there's that. Now we can go ahead, grab our baby boss. Let's see, we need our 
guys. Right there. And what's cool about this set of dies is we have a little um, piece here that you could do like your sentiment. The cover cuts out a little piece. And then this cuts out our little flower bunch here. Then we have the outline that'll cut out all of these. They also have pieces, and I'll show you in um, one of the samples that I have to share with you. Um, how you layer all these pieces. Now this one here cuts out and it looks like this. This is what it looks like when it cuts it out. And then, like I said, you have all these little pieces that you can layer to um, bring your flowers to life. And like I said, I'm going to show you that later on. Um, we have this extra little sprig here, which is makes a really pretty little filler piece. You have a stem. Oh, I'm trying to get this in. Um, here's some centers. So a lot of extra little pieces that you can really get creative with this. But for now, we're just using these outline pieces. So we're going to go ahead, lay that there like so. That goes there. And this one like so. If you can get them to not move. I just saw them start moving, so they're not going to be cut perfect. Flying dies. Teaches me not to have my sticky notes over here while we're cutting, but they still work. Okay, let's see which way do we want to go here. There we go. These aren't too awful bad for lining up either. I've had way worse. And I got to grab the dimensionals because I did forget those as well. Glad to see Monday isn't much different than Sunday. Got to forget something or two or three. Okay. So we're going to start. And it's just building your 
floral design here. Then to finish it off, if I can find where I stuck them, I know I brought them over here, here there. We're using the 2023-2025 in color dots. So it comes in all five colors. You can see that. Get your pebbled path, your wild wheat, the um, moody mauve, copper clay, and then the boho blue. We are using the pebbled path. So we're just going to well, that leave a lot of room up here. So we'll just move these to here. Like so. And then that will go right there. So what do you think? And I'm just noticing when I did this one, I used Moody Mauve. This time I used Berry Burst. Both work. Which one do you like better? Moody Mob or Berry Burst? Thanks, Deb. All right. So, anyhow, that's that one. So we're going to set that one aside for the moment. And then we're going to bring in our second card, which I do have to grab my ribbon. I didn't have that. There it is. On top. So this one is one of those really quick down and dirty cards only because, like I said, this panel Literally, you just cut the panel out and add it to a card base. I am going to step it up one little tiny bit for this card tonight. Oops. Where is my card kit, though? Oh, I brought it over. Didn't I? Ah, here it is. Okay. So for this one, we have a copper clay card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So we're going to fold on that squirrel line. And we're just going to go ahead and burnish that. Then I cut this time a boho blue layer this is oh my goodness well this is five and a quarter by four so this is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. I think that's it. Five and three eighths by four and an eighth. So you're just going to have a, just a little bit of that boho blue peeking out. Um, I thought that would help pull with the copper clay, bring in that boho blue that you find in the pattern paper. So that's why I decided to do that. So we're just going to go ahead and add our adhesive. And like I said, it's just a very tiny border. Then we're going to take the copper clay ribbon. And we're going to tie that into a bow. Berry burst. 
Yeah, I agree. I think that actually brightened that card up just a little bit. Have to agree. Let's try to keep this flat. So then we're just gonna tie this into a little bow. Like so. Actually, you know what? I think it's tied it into a knot. The bow, I see in why too, because the bow looks a little too bulky for this particular card. So we're just going to tie it into a knot. This is a little bit wider ribbon. It's a pretty ribbon. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it. I don't know if the camera picks it up very well, but let me do other snips. There we go. Now we can go ahead and add our adhesive. You want to make sure you pay attention to your pattern on there to make sure your daisies are going in the right direction. There we go. So there's that part. Then we need. Did I? Here it is. We have a little bit of scrap here. And I think for ease, we're just going to go ahead and cut this out and then we'll stamp. Being we didn't bring post-it notes to get things nice and lined up. All right. There we go. Way over here. So go ahead. The magical tweezers are over on the other desk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Didn't bring them over. Totally out of sorts doing this on a Monday. I got home from work, threw some dinner together quick, and then ran up here and tried to get everything put together here. I mean, I had everything designed and ready to go as far as cut and that stuff, but I needed to gather my supplies and was, obviously didn't do such a good job at it. Rushing around. Okay, now we need our Boho Blue ink pad and our sentiment that says wishing you the brightest birthday. So grab the stamp set. Hmm. Oh, there it is. It's stuck to them. Good grief. I hope everybody had a nice mom's day yesterday. Yesterday, my husband and I went and saw his mom. Took her her card and her gift. And then from there, we went to the cemetery to... We planted some lilies for my mom. Because she loved her lilies. And I found... Some really pretty ones at Lowe's. Pricey. Very pricey. But it was for mom, so it was okay. But I was just really surprised at how much the lilies were. Actually, all the plants at Lowe's were kind of 
and they were not, I mean, we found some really nice lilies, but a lot of the plants were not the healthiest looking for what they were asking for them. I mean, we did some serious looking around to find good plants to take. Okay, so wishing you the brightest birthday. There's that in boho blue. I do love blues, and this one is no exception. But um, the Moody Mob in the boho blue totally remind me of my 1990s kitchen in my first apartment. I had blue and mauve were my colors. <laughs> and these are the colors. So I think my blue and mauve are coming back. All right, so we're just having dimensionals to our sentiment here. And we're just going to add them to our card front there. And then for this one, we're using the adhesive back solid gems. And these are copper clay, boho blue, and lemon lolly. And they have a faceted cut on them, so they really sparkle even though they're very opaque. I don't think the camera's picking up the sparkle as much, but in person, they really do sparkle. Right there, I think I'm catching it. And it's because of that faceted cut. All right, so I'm just gonna grab a couple of these little pretties. I'm gonna put one there and one up in there and we'll do one here like so and that finishes card number two put these back in All right, we're on to card number three already, which is this pretty here. And this is another very quick and simple. This one, we have another thick basic white card base, 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. Fold on that score line, furnish out with our bone folder. I have another basic white panel that is four inches by five and a quarter. I have a piece of the designer series paper. Again, this is that cheerful Deezy paper. Um, this measures five and a quarter by two. And this is gonna go on the edge here, but before I attach it, I am going to tear just a little bit off the edge here. I'm getting that little ruffled white. All right, throw that away, and now we can go ahead and add our adhesive. Going to have to figure out why this is going dark before Sunday because that's going to drive me crazy. So I'm going to leave a little bit of an edge. There we go. Now we need some dimensionals. Before we stick that down, I've got here some linen 
thread. Oh, wait, is that still got enough on that? Oh no, definitely don't have enough of that. Okay, we'll open the new one. So we have some linen thread here and we're gonna wrap it around twice. So let's see, that should be enough of a tail. Around and around. And now I'm gonna wish I had the magical tweezers. It's all good. It's okay. We can do it. Oop. Maybe. What the heck? <laughs> I don't even know what the heck I grabbed over here. Let's try that again. I don't even think tweezers would have helped me with that. Okay. One and two. Definitely gonna wish I had those tweezers over here. And I don't have anything over here that even remotely looks like a tweezer. <laughs> there we go. I think we did it. Just need to make it look pretty. Yep, there we go. Good enough. All right, now we're just gonna trim our tails. Peel off our backing here. Well, first of all, let's fix our twine. There we go, that looks better. Now we can peel off our backings. Now we can put that on our card base, just like so. Next, I have a panel that I cut from some basic white, and I used the new dies that you'll find in our catalog. These are called the Countryside Corner Dies. These are awesome definitely using it more than just for the intended use. Um, it has all these different shapes. I'm using the number two here from the second largest and I cut that out. So now I have oops, petal pink and what did I do with petal path are my two colors. So I'm going to start with the petal pink and we're going to use the large daisy here. And we're just using the solid. We're not using the outline. So we're going to go ahead and ink that up. Make sure that's high enough. There we go. Make sure that the pressure. Okay. 
like so. Clean this off. Then we're going to need the stem. Actually, I'm going to want that sentiment, so we're going to keep that out. Close up the petal pink. We're going to bring in Pebble Path. I'm liking this Petal Path, too. It's a neat color. It's a really good neutral for sure. So we're just going to go ahead and stick that in there like so. Back. Now I need my leaf. Next, we want the center, again using the pebble path, and we're just going to set that in there, and finally, we want our sentiment. Wishing you a brightest birthday, or the brightest birthday. And that's going to go right down there like so. Close that up. Add some dimensionals. One extra. And there's card number three. So let's recap here real quick. We'll get all this stuff out of the way. We have these two pretties. That one there. And somewhere I misplaced the other one. Oh, I have no idea what I did with it. Ah, here it is. There it is. So those are the three we made tonight. And I have three bonus cards to share with you. Well, thank you, Kay. So here's the one where I layered the pieces. So you cut out an outline as well as the large flower and then all of the detail pieces that layer on top. So that's a fun look. And this says, oops a daisy, so sorry. And that's again using the designer series paper and pretty peacock with some granny apple green. Here's another one of those panels that came from that one 12 by 12 sheet. I used some of the ribbon 
tied a bow. And then we used your friendship means everything, which is another sentiment in this particular set. But I love these panel pieces. And I just used a piece of uh, early espresso to back that. And then another panel, this is another one of those panels. This was a four by four um, panel on that 12 by 12 sheet of different panels. And uh, I used, again, your friendship means everything. I added that little piece of greenery. I cut that from some, uh, oh, early, yeah, early espresso, no, um, shaded spruce. Stamped that in uh, berry burst and I cut it berry burst. And then this is that beautiful um, bubble bath pink. I'm loving that bubble bath. I think that is the most beautiful pink I've ever seen Stampin' Up! Carrie. The paper does do the work, Kay. You are 100% right. And I am. I love this paper. And I love that they included that those two sheets that have the panels in it. Because again, they make really quick cards, but they're absolutely beautiful when you're done. So this was a square card. And I actually did this exact design, only I changed the sentiment um, for my mother-in-law's um, Mother's Day card. Did the same beautiful panel, same color scheme. And then this here, I took two stamp sets to create a Mother's Day sentiment. And uh, that was her card. But so, yeah, so this is and then I just, of course, added some rhinestones to really snazz it up. So, again, I've had a lot of fun playing with this particular set. It's one that I highly recommend if you don't have it on your wish list, you're definitely going to want to put it on your wish list. It is an entire suite of product. The suite includes the stamp set and dies the designer series paper and then of course these here um adhesive backed solid gems are part of that suite so you get all of that and i believe that was only like 70 yeah 73.50 for the whole suite um and again you'll find that on the spread on 110 and 111 so Definitely worth it. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. I do appreciate it. I hope you had a, got some really good ideas and or inspired to think about that uh, suite. Um, I enjoyed, like I said, playing with it quite a bit. And I appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me on a Monday evening. Um, I'll be back next Sunday. Um, it'll be an interesting day because I'm working Sundays. <laughs> I'll be rushing home, but hopefully I'll have everything all ready to go. So it'll be a pretty smooth, easy. I don't know who I'm kidding, but maybe if I say enough, it'll work out. But it'll be fun. So, yeah, see you on Sunday. So I hope you guys have a fabulous short evening. I am going to go now work on uh, Prize Patrol from the catalog launch I did last weekend. Um, so if you didn't catch the replays of that, you might want to go check those out real quick before I go start prize patrol for that. I have seven, seven prize patrols for catalog launch. All right, guys, have a great night and I will talk to you on Sunday. Bye for now.